とうございます。Professor of Marketing and Innovation in Warwick Business School. Hi, my name is d e v o n a l c o a t e and I teach at WMG in the University of Warwick and I specialize in technology management. Hi, everyone, my name is Laura f m i l o l a k e s h a I'm currently a f o u r y e a r scholar at the University of Warwick,、um, pursuing my PhD、um, in computer vision. Hello, my name is Oye Molo Oye Bode. I'm an associate professor in public health at Warwick Medical School, and I mainly work on the behaviours that drive disease, so things like smoking and poor diet. Okay, let's see what we have. When you were younger, who did you look up to? That's easy.、Uh, that was my mother.、Uh, she was a really good businesswoman for all of my young life.、Um, she Went straight back into work、um, and did a really great job、uh, at her place of business, which was in the automotive industry, which was very male dominated. So, since I was little, I had a woman in power、um, and in a really great position who was doing a really brilliant job in business to look up to. So, definitely my mum. Well, this is a good question. I think when I look back in my childhood,、um, what I remembered the most was the books.、Uh, I was not particularly sociable, I think. I was born and brought up in China during the Cultural Revolution, and my parents are、uh, intellectuals, so, so we had very、uh, just bad necessities.、Uh, Yeah, so I look up to some of the characters in my books. What's been your biggest achievement to date? Oh my, my biggest achievement to date? That's a tough question because I consider every achievement big, like the biggest. Like currently, the ability to, to be part of a PhD program is, is one of my biggest achievements. And yeah, I, I can say my biggest achievement, one of my biggest achievements to date is. is Is being at the University of Warwick pursuing one of my dreams, you know, like being a researcher. So, in terms of my biggest achievement to date, I think the biggest challenge that I've faced so far is coping over the last year with two very small children who were obviously not in school and nursery for a large amount of last year and、um, a full time job. So, that was so difficult. It, it felt like it was impossible. And every day I'd think, oh gosh, I don't know if I can keep going, but somehow have managed to with no lasting damage. So I feel like that is a major achievement. Where do you see yourself in five years? I, where, I see myself in five years、um, being part of a company, working for a, a major company, a, a big company, let's say big tech company, where I am contributing to. To a solution that impacts lives or impacts b- millions or billions of lives. You know, a company that is, that is building solutions for the social good that is contributing to, to the world through technologies. Do you think seeing female experts on TV encourages more girls to pursue high end careers? I like to think so. Uh, I hope that it's something that really helps to inspire bright young women to be able to pursue whatever they want to pursue. Just the same way that having my mother in my life since I was young and, and pursuing business in a way that never really questioned whether she should or she could meant that I just saw it as a natural thing. You know, my mum was doing great and I could too. So, hopefully, being able to experience that if you don't have it yourself at home through TV and through other people in your life and around you is something that would inspire people. And I hope that it continues to. So, one piece of advice to a woman or girl thinking about going into a male dominated industry. So, if I were speaking to any woman or girl thinking about going into a male dominated industry, I would say that even in an industry that looks male dominated, often you find At the senior levels, it is male dominated, but at more junior levels, I think things are changing. So, I guess the first piece of advice I would give is that. 
things change. So just because something's male dominated now doesn't mean it always will be. And I think it's worth being part of that change. And the second piece of advice is just that even if it didn't change, even if it remains male dominated, I think it's nice to stand out and actually, you know, you can be memorable if you're the only woman in the room and it's never a bad thing to be memorable. So I would say go for it. What else do you think needs to be done to encourage women into high roles? Yeah, this is a good, again, a really good question. I think that both the society and the women uh, need to have the right mindset. We are caring, we're empathetic, so we should be able to do that. Definitely not less uh, capable of the of, of our male top colleagues. All right, um, it's nice answering these questions and um, happy. I just want to wish everyone happy International Women's Day. And bye, thank you.